Now, ahead of COP27, set to take place in Egypt next month, the Global Green Growth Institute, or the GGGI, hosted an event this week to discuss the climate crisis and green transformation. The GGGI is an intergovernmental organization that started its life as an NGO here in South Korea to help developing countries achieve sustainable growth. Our Kim Jong-sil went to one of the meetings and files this report. This year's Global Green Growth Week kicked off this week. And celebrating its 10-year anniversary as an intergovernmental organization, ministers from the Global Green Growth Institute member countries visited its headquarters in Seoul for the first time since the pandemic and held a panel session to discuss some of the challenges they face. One of the main concerns the ministers raised in this session was the climate crisis and the natural disasters it causes like floods and droughts. We experienced a drought lasting for almost 120 days, which I had never seen in my lifetime. Ministers from Laos and Kazakhstan also spoke of their experiences of extreme weather-related disasters that resulted in substantial damage. Officials then discussed what steps would be necessary to take in the future in order to achieve sustainable growth, the very reason the GGGI was founded in the first place. Developing countries, they want to uh, protect environment, they want to reduce greenhouse gas emission, but at the same time they want to achieve economic growth. Addressing some of the toughest challenges in the world, GGGI President Ban Ki-moon said that geopolitical conflict between the U.S. and China, as well as Russian aggression in Ukraine, has disrupted global efforts to address environmental issues while also leading to economic and food crisis. However, he said it's important that the world comes together during this tough time. So we have only one planet. We don't have planet B. And thus, we don't have plan B either. We have put all our hands on the deck together. That has been my uh, continuing message. We have no time to lose. With COP27 just around the corner, the GGGI hopes this year's climate conference will be able to make a difference. Kim Jong-sil, Arirang News.